Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thought we'll have a different view today. Um, I'm outside. It's a little overcast, so it's a little bit cooler now, but it has been really warm today. I'll try and show you my garden without making people too sick. So this is my front bit, and then at the back there, past the fence, um, there are three fruit trees and um, <clears throat> I've just let the grass grow wild um, so yeah all this bit here is for the dog so yeah here we go oh I'm leaning on it so um, the one I'm working on is, let me just see if I can cover that bit, otherwise you're not going to be able to see, is the apple that I got. I don't know if you guys can remember that um, when I got this, the pattern was all smeared and, um, yeah, I couldn't make head and the tail of it, but I've had another one sent to me, so that's absolutely fine. I don't need it just yet anyway. So, the colour we are using is... 930 and we are working on these blue triangles here where was I over here okay sorry let me see if I can move you over a bit there we go right I can actually see what I'm doing now so yeah how is everyone doing you can't see anything because my hand is in the way. Um, how is everyone? Um, has anyone been working on their projects while well, it's been warm? Or well, you never know, it could be cold where you are. I just know it's very warm here. I've just taken the dog out because here in the UK it's like nearly nine o'clock now at night. So it's cool enough to take her out, but it is still warm. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow with some scattered showers, apparently. So, who knows? We'll see. But um, tomorrow I have my hospital appointment at the uh, breast care clinic. So, we'll see how that goes. My mum my is coming with me. So... Yeah, we'll um, we'll see what happens. I'm not getting myself too worked up about it because what's the point, you know? What will be, will be. You can't see a thing. Sorry. See where I am upstairs. I can, you know, gauge where I am on the camera, but out here because I've never done it from this angle before. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but there is no way I could produce a video in the house because it's just silly, silly warm. So that's why I thought we would come outside. <clears throat> like I say, it has gone a bit overcast, so there is a chance of rain, but um, I don't think it's going to. But yeah, so what's everyone been up to? Sorry if you can hear the train going past there, but I live literally two houses from the train from the train tracks. Um, first of all, when I first moved here, I thought, oh god, I'm I'm not going to be able to cope with the train tracks. But honestly, it's fine. Don't even notice them half of the time. got used to it now. I've been here four years. So we're used to it. The only one that really bothers me I suppose sometimes, and it's not all the time but sometimes, is there's a big freight train that goes past at around um, sort of midnight, 1am. So sometimes that bothers me but you know, I'm awake anyway. I don't, it doesn't bother me if I'm asleep. But it's not very often I'm I'm asleep as well, so unless I'm poorly. So 
Yeah. Can hear some birdies scraping around near me in the trees. I have a little bird bath next to me. But uh, I've not actually seen any of the music yet. Although, you know, the water does disappear out of it, so I'm presuming they must do at some point. But yeah, this is pleasant, it's nice, just, you know, in the daytime. Oh gosh, if I did a video in the daytime out here, wow, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me because of all the birds. Honestly, it is a wildlife trap here. <clears throat> so many birds. I mean, I have my back door open, you know, from the minute I get up until the minute I go upstairs. Um, and, yeah, you can constantly hear the birds. Oh, there's a pigeon come to say hello. Just landed on my fence. My neighbour was just outside, so I hope she's gone in now and she doesn't think I'm a mad person talking to myself. Oh, there's another pigeon, come to join it. I do have um, a couple of little robins that come in the garden. Um, the other day, looked out of the back door and I saw a lovely little squirrel, baby squirrel, on the garden. That was nice. So, yeah. oh. yeah, wild animals where I live. <laughs> but it's nice, you know. Yeah, you get the trains and um, where I live, there's like the Bentley car factory where they build the cars like a stone's throw from the house but um, yeah apart from that you know you get the traffic for their for the staff but uh, yeah you don't because this is a dead end road Bentley actually bought the road so um, unless you actually live up here or you're coming to visit somebody or deliver something then there's no need for you to be up here so it, it it does get really quiet sometimes it's not it's nice you know it's nice to sit out here of an evening so yeah it's been lovely today was a little bit cooler than it has been which was good, but still, still hot for us. I keep thinking, I keep feeling um, bad when I say that, you know, oh gosh, it's in the 20s, it's so hot. Because other countries obviously have it a lot hotter than we do here, but like I say, us Brits aren't built for hot weather. <laughs> or not very many of us are, I should say. But yeah, especially... Um, me and my family, because um, we actually have Irish blood, and you know, Northern Ireland is um, particularly notorious for its uh, miserable grey, dull, rainy weather. So that's what our blood is used to. So, yeah. I rang my friend and spoke to her for a bit earlier on, not spoke to her for a week or so, so that was nice. I did send her a text yesterday wishing her a happy Father's Day because uh, she does the job of both mum and dad, so I felt like she deserved it. I can be a nice human being sometimes. <laughs> if you ask my kids, they'll just tell you that I'm annoying. Because I spend a lot of time winding the kids up. 
but you know, all I say to them is, well, would you rather if we have a strict mum that's telling you off and shouting all the time? I just can't be bothered with being like that. I can't. It's, my life's too short to shout at your kids all the time. I don't need to. They're good kids, so, yeah. Yeah. So I've been trying to get hold of um, paint some way to try and find out where the rest of my package is because I had the first one and I did an unbagging of it um, and I've been waiting for the, you know, the, the rest of the order to come and it's just not arriving. I mean, I ordered it on the 2nd of June and it's now the 19th of June. So, <clears throat> I've never had a package from one of these companies take this long, ever. So I, I don't know what's going on with that, but I have tried to get in touch with them and just no one is responding to me, so I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. <clears throat> but if I'm honest, and you know, I've always said this channel is for honesty. If I'm honest, it's putting me off ordering from them again. It's putting me off because obviously, you know, if other companies can ship in a decent amount of time and get it here then you know why why can't they i mean when i've ordered from fg normal i got me an order from them every month um within 10 days it's here um you know fan cells i think that was about 12 days um so for this to be taking a silly amount of time it's been like 17 days now and when I check the tracking all it says is um, that the cusp customs it's basically it's cleared customs at my end um, but that that last update was the 14th so, I have no idea where it is and what's going on. Not a clue. Not a clue. But my order from VIP Cross Stitch should be here soon. Or well, soonish. Um, within this week, I would say. Because um, they've told me that, you know, that's been packaged up and shipped to me so stay tuned for my first ever review folks so exciting I can't wait I can't even remember what I've ordered from them and I'm not checking because I want it to be a surprise but what's annoying me about this order from paint some way is one of I've ordered one of the Thai Chi's um, and I absolutely adore it, I love it, and I want to stitch it, but it's not coming. I, I don't know where it is. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying. I'm sorry that this keeps going out of focus, it's because my hand's there. But obviously, I can't stitch without my hand. <laughs> kind of need that. So... Yeah. So yeah, I'm a little um a little annoyed with paint some way at the moment. You know, if it if there's something wrong or you know it's stuck somewhere, they could at least have let me know. You know, they have my email address and all that stuff, so you know, they could have told me. So yeah, or at least answered my messages. No, they haven't so yeah I'm very reluctant to um, order from them again 
and the rain is just starting so bear with me folks while I pause you and go set up in oh hang on yeah it is um, yeah I'll pause you now and I'll go set up indoors and we'll continue on okay see you in the morning and we're back we're now indoors <laughs> um, I am downstairs in my lounge now and I do have my fan on so um, I apologize if you guys can hear that but it is on the lower setting so it shouldn't be too bad if even if you can hear it um, yes yeah, so I can't even remember where I was up to what I was saying was I still talking about paints on my So, yeah, I've tried messaging them a few days ago and then I've messaged them today and I haven't had a response either time. So, I am, uh, yeah, not, not best pleased. So, yeah, you know, just because I'm having problems with them doesn't mean that you're going to have problems with them. But uh, obviously, you know, I did say that my channel is about honesty. Um, so, yeah, I'm being honest. But uh, I am reluctant to order from them again. Unless they can do something to drastically redeem themselves. So, we'll see. We'll see. You know, if... if if they're not responding to me and the parcel doesn't arrive then I'm just gonna have to take the hit money wise aren't I but you know it's not as if I have an abundance of of money to to spend every month so it is kind of annoying um yeah but we'll see I'll give them some more time and, and some, you know, a couple more chances to answer some messages, but uh, yeah, well, hmm. That's all we'll say for now, I suppose, is hmm. So, yeah, I was saying, wasn't I? I was browsing some of the other sites. Um, uh, I have lots of favourites. <laughs> um, all sort of tucked away on the wish list kind of thing um, so I'll have to you know go through and decide where and what I am ordering you know where am I ordering it from and what am I actually going to order because uh, yeah if I was to order what I've got in you know throughout all of the the sites that I've looked at then I'd probably be looking at about £500 worth of stuff and that ain't happening. So, yeah, excuse the plaster on my finger as well, folks, but I have, when I stitch, I sort of guide the needle underneath with my finger. So when I put the needle through the top of the canvas, I sort of catch it on the other side, if you will, with this finger. And I've jabbed it that many times, I've actually made it really sore. So, we need a little bit of cushioning. Okay, um, let's find where else we need to go now for that symbol. I want to find a big area so that I am not stopping and starting, because that's really annoying. Here we go. We have a big area up here. So, okay. I have another needle loaded with this colour too, so hopefully we'll. Uh, oh, well, that was nice. Look at that. Pulled it straight through the needle. Yeah, so. Feeling a little disheartened at the minute, folks. Gotta be honest. And the dog's now looking towards the door because the back door's still open and she can hear the rain, so she's like, um, Mum, back door's open. 
I know, puppy, we're leaving it open. It's okay. It's only rain. It's all right. She's looking a bit scared. It's only rain. It's okay, baby. She's, um, as I've said previously in my video, she's a Romanian rescue. So we don't know what sort of life she had before. Um, so she does seem to be afraid of certain things. Like she's probably going to get up. Yep, she's getting up. She's coming over. She's going to lie next to me now. Yeah, I moved my slippers. There you go. Come on then, puppy. Come and lie down. Good girl. There we go. Yeah, she gets frightened. She comes and lies by mum. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she. we don't know what life she had before. She does seem to be afraid of certain noises. Um, she hates fireworks. And this is not very good. I've got this. There we go. Um, she does not like fireworks. She hides in the, you know, the smallest space she can possibly find when there's fireworks. She, she can't cope with them at all. Um, so yeah, she, we, you know, try, somebody tries, uh, one of us, you know, out of the three of us, sort of tries to at least, um, be with her down here when there's fireworks on because she does get so afraid. Um, other things she doesn't like, noises, um, bubble wrap, you know, the, the bubble wrap that you get to cushion things in the post, you pop in that, hates it, runs away does not like that um opening a can of coke or orange or whatever she hates that noise too she looks at you with her ears back um what else is that squeaky toys now as i've said we don't know what her past has been and you know before i got her um i mean there's a big long story behind getting her um but before i got her in in the time that i was waiting for her um i bought loads of toys i thought oh she you know she's gonna want for nothing she's got a bed she's got the blankets that i've handmade for her and you know she's got loads of toys and treats and all sorts of things you know she, she want for nothing brushes you know she's i mean she's got like three brushes that do different things you know says the woman that just had the dog shaved yeah go figure um so yeah i was like this dog's gonna want for nothing she's got so many leads it is untrue collars harnesses yeah so um i bought all these toys she will not play with toys she does not know what toys are for she doesn't understand um you put a toy near her, she will walk away from it. You squeak it, she runs and hides by the front door. So she she doesn't know. Um, I was hoping that um, the last time that I had my mum and dad's dog when they were on holiday, I was hoping that if she saw her playing with toys, she would go, oh, hang on a minute. This seems to be a good thing. Um... But no, if Poppy was squeaking toys, Millie would bark at her to get her to stop. So, yeah, I have a basket full of toys here that only gets played with when Poppy comes because <laughs> Millie just won't entertain them. She's, you know, and I feel really bad for her because I feel sometimes like she must be so bored because, you know, she's not doing anything. She just lies about and she sleeps. And, yeah, we go for walks and... You know, we've started going on the days out and things now because it's nice. But I feel so bad for her. But she seems content. She seems all right, you know. But I, I suppose it's us humans, isn't it? We we make those feelings. A dog, it tends to just be happy if it's loved, cared for, you know, got food and water, goes for the occasional walk. A dog's happy, you know. But us humans, we put more in it we make it more than it is if you know what i mean if that makes any sense 
So, yeah, it's, you know, I'm sure she doesn't feel that way. It's just me projecting those feelings, you know. But I do feel so bad, you know, that she won't play with toys and, you know, she, I mean, she won't come upstairs either. I mean, Poppy is used to sleeping on my mum's bed with her. So when she comes here and she stays, what is going on with that? When she comes here and stays, um, Poppy comes upstairs when I go up, you know, and she lies on my bed and she sleeps on my bed. And I feel bad because it's like, well, poor Millie is downstairs. But Millie will not even entertain going up the stairs. So there's not a lot I can do. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. Like I say, I think, you know, as far as things like that are concerned, us humans make it more than it needs to be, you know. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, she knows where the toys are if she ever decides she wants to play with them. I did actually make her a snuffle mat. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know what what a snuffle mat is but it's basically like a, a bit like a rag rug um you know where you have the the ends of the the material sticking up out of it um and you basically you just hide treats inside it so that she has to sort of snuffle through it to find the treats it's supposed to sort of be engaging for them and rewarding at the same time now she'll use that no problem you know, not a problem at all. She will use the snuffle mat. Um, but uh, no. Toys. Big no-no. We'll have them. So. But I don't know what her issue is at the moment. She doesn't normally bother with the rain. Normally she takes one look at the rain and says, uh, or looks at me as if to say, uh, you want me to go for a wee in this? I don't think so. And she'll come back in and go and get in her bed until it stopped raining. <laughs> this dog would rather cross her legs and hold it than go outside in the rain. She's funny. So, yeah. Oh, I've got itchy nose. Ugh. So, yeah. That's the uh, sum of it for, uh, you know, my plans. I have the hospital tomorrow and I have the doctors on Wednesday. Um, I do need to do some shopping, so I might perhaps do that before I go to the doctors on Wednesday. And then I can, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I can um, leave the kids to put the shopping away while I go to the doctors so we'll see we will see that rain sounds so lovely out there I'm just going willy-nilly with this now, going all over the show. I don't want to be up in and down in and going to the back of the material. So I'm just moving. Just keep moving. And I'll go in and fill the spaces afterwards. <laughs> when I get back to this colour. I haven't done a great deal on this, guys, as you can see. Um, done... This little bit over here, which is like purples and reds, um, you know, little bits and bobs dotted about. Um, and then over here, some of the greens, and then some more of the red purples there. And then on the flip side at the bottom, um, here, this purple colour, and then the blue well it's like a dark teal yeah so yeah that 
that's why we're up to, guys. Not making a massive amount of progress on this because I am only stitching it in the daytime when I'm downstairs and I'm not doing something else. I have uh, lots of other projects on going upstairs. Um, so, you know, and I don't want to keep, because at one point I was sort of bringing kits and things back and to from upstairs and downstairs and I thought, you know, it's so annoying. So, <clears throat> let's just keep a project downstairs. And I have, don't know what I have just done there, but I have done something. I know I've done something. Because I saw it as I was pulling it through. There we go. Yeah, I have my project for downstairs. And, you know, my multitude of projects upstairs. So, and if I get bored of this one down here, then it just gets taken up, put in the pile of whips, and we get something else. Like my Tai Chi when that finally comes. I watched um, Stitching with Laura earlier on, and she did a review. Um, and she has some Thai cheese. And um, as soon as I pressed play on the video, um, I saw that it was Thai cheese in the, the title of it. I was like, right, pause that. And I went straight to the comments and I was like, before I watch this, I'll bet you any money you've got or you've ordered the one that I'm waiting for. <laughs> so then I went back to the video and I carried on watching it and she hasn't. <laughs> But to be fair, between me and Laura, that tends to be the way that it is, you know. I'll buy something and she's already got it, or, you know, I'll she'll get something and I've already got it, or I've got it sitting in my basket waiting for me to get it. So <laughs> it seems to go that way between me and Laura every now and again. I guess we just have great taste. So yeah, this is much more comfortable, guys, doing a, doing a stitch with me down here. I hope everyone can see and hear everything okay. Um, I haven't plugged my the ring light in for this. I left the plug for it upstairs, so I can't actually plug it in. So I hope everyone can see alright. I do have a spotlight next to me. Um... And another, there's a, it's like a, a dual light kind of a situation going on. Um, you know, it has like a an up lighter, um, and then next to it, there's a spotlight that you can angle wherever you want it to be. So, yeah. Ah, hang on. I knew there was something I could do down here. Lexi, I hope you're watching. I have my magnifying light. Now this, guys, is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've I've used this quite a bit. Um, it's a touch one, so you touch it on and you touch it off. If when it is on, you long long press, it goes brighter. Or it goes dimmer so yeah fantastic light that is brilliant brilliant light I've been wanting to show that off but obviously I don't I don't stitch down here I stitch upstairs so or I do my stitch with me down here upstairs my god get your words straight woman So yeah, i um, not been able to show you because I don't want to go lugging it upstairs just to do a, a video on it and then bring it back down again because I'll need it kind of thing. I've been using it, um, I was testing it out actually on a 14 count. Um, I Now I'm really, really unsure 
about this 14 count because it's the um, dream catcher pocket watch type situation. Um, now, it says it's a 14 count. Now, before I started working on stamped kits, all I ever did was 14 count. It's all I've ever worked on is 14 count. So I am used to working on 14 count. For some reason, I am struggling with that 14 count. I don't know why. I don't know if they've maybe mislabeled it and it's actually a 16. I don't know. But it, the squares are very small. Um, it, it's not like a 14 count. Um, so I'm wondering if it has been sort of mislabeled or something. But with that magnifying light, makes it so much easier you can see so well i don't use it with an 11 count because i think you know it just magnify it that big i feel like it was in my face <laughs> so yeah i'm not doing that but yeah the it it's helping with that 14 count like i say i'm used to working with 14 count it's all i ever ever worked with was 14 count so i don't i don't understand with that one why it's so different I don't, I don't know I don't know but uh, one thing I did see on was it paint some way when I was on there earlier on trying to figure out where the hell my stuff is um, you know when you go on these shops on these stores online and they have like banners across the top and it's like, you know, deals for this and, you know, advertising that and blah, blah, blah. Well, this one had about, this um, advert was for um, the 16 and the 18 counts saying before the cloth didn't, wasn't compatible with the soluble ink that they were using. And then it said after they're now using... Um, or you know the 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 right cloth i don't understand that cloth's cloth ada's ada it either washes out or it doesn't the only thing that's different that you could be using is the ink itself so i don't think it's the cloth that's the issue i don't i think that's a lie i don't think it's the cloth that's the issue it is the ink that is the issue in in my opinion i mean that is just my opinion um I am not saying that is 100% right, but to me that makes sense, you know, if, um, if, if it washes out of 11 counts and 14 counts, um, then why shouldn't, if you're using the same ink, why shouldn't the 16 and the 18 wash out? Do you get what I mean? So, yeah, it, hmm. Unless, like they say, you know, obviously it is 16 and 18, so they have got to use different cloth. But I can't imagine the makeup of the cloth itself is actually that much different as to not make the water-soluble ink water-soluble. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not... I'm not... Um, I'm not 100% believing that I'm... More of the mindset of, um, no, I, don't, I think the ink, I think you're using a different ink. Because it looks different as well. The ink looks different. Um, the printing does on the canvases. So it's definitely different ink, I would say. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've seen that um, sort of advertising banner thingy pop up on paint somewhere I'm pretty sure it was paint somewhere that I was on today well I know I've been on it today um but I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it it's where what other shops have I been on today DP clubs and FG normal it's not on FG normal I'm sure it was on paint somewhere So yeah, let me know if you've seen that. Let me know what your opinion is as well as regards, you know, is it the cloth that's causing the issue or is it the ink? 
in your opinion, obviously, that's the issue. You know, no one's going to know for sure until somebody actually come out, comes out and says, you know, oh yeah, ever so sorry, this was the issue. And I don't think that's going to happen, to be perfectly honest. I think it's just going to be, uh, yeah, it's fixed now. That's all we're going to get. So don't be holding your breath, guys, for a big explanation. Because <laughs> I don't think we're going to get one. So, yeah, but until, you know, things are sorted, I won't be, I won't be getting any uh, 16 or 18 counts, that's for sure, because I'm not going to waste more money. You know, what's the point if I can't actually use the canvas because I can't, you know, if it's if it's not washing out then there's no, absolutely no point in wasting all those hours stitching something when, you know, you never you're not going to be able to do anything with it you can't frame it and put it up because you're going to be able to see so, yeah but, you know, that's just me guys that's just me, I don't know I'm waffling now, I think. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We have done this little bit here. Can, I don't even know if you can see. We've done this little bit here of the blues. We'll bring in the blue in, shall I say. Well, it's not blue. It's more, like I say, dark teal. So, yeah. So, I'll um, carry on, finish this thread off. And... Uh, Move on to the next colour. I'm not going to go up just yet because it is going to be silly, silly warm upstairs. So I will stay down here for a little bit longer um, and stitch where it's nice and cool instead of upstairs where it's like you've got to strip off straight away instantly with the fan on full power. It's definitely no covers in this weather because, man... It is hot. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, um, because I am just waffling rubbish now. Um, so, yeah, thank you very, 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 very much for watching, guys. Um, totally appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you can think of anybody that... Um, might enjoy my videos and please um give me a share uh yeah and uh i'm at 154 subscribers i think it is now so we're getting there we're getting there folks i don't think we're gonna make 200 by the end of june but it's gonna be close i think i think it might be close we'll see we'll see it's not a race anyway it's a marathon it's not a race it's a marathon so, yeah, there we go. Um, so, until next time, folks, you take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.